In this uh, example, we will consider the difference between gravity separation and centrifugal separation. And the example we have is of uh, flotation of a fat globule in milk. Now we know that if you have non-homogenized milk and you leave it for a few hours, that after that time, there is a formation of a layer of cream on the top. Well, what has happened is that the fat globules in the milk have floated up to the uh, top surface. So we will try to determine how long does it take for a fat globule to uh, float up to the surface of milk. Now, the diameter of fat globule is about uh, 2 microns, or let's say 2 micrometers, which is also equal to 2 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meters. And density of milk serum is like non-fat milk that does not contain any fat. Uh, that density, rho F, is uh, 1032 kilograms per cubic meters. Density of fat globules Rho P is 926 kilograms per cubic meters. And the viscosity of that milk serum, mu, is 1.42 into 10 raised to power minus 3 kilograms per meter second. First, we will look at gravity separation. And in another tutorial, we determined that the terminal velocity equals d square in parentheses, rho p minus rho f times g, that's the acceleration due to gravity, divided by 18 mu. So if we go ahead and substitute the various values, we have ut equals 2 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meters, that's the diameter, square, times 926 kilograms per cubic meter minus 1032 kilograms per cubic meter times 9.81 meter per second square divided by 18 times 1.42 into 10 raised to power minus 3 kilograms per meter second. Now, if we carry out this calculation, we get the terminal velocity as minus 1.63 into 10 raised to power minus 7 meters per second. The negative sign indicates that the movement of that fat globule is in the upward direction. We can convert these units from meter per second to millimeters per hour. We have minus 1.63 into 10 raised to power minus 7 meter per second into 1000 millimeters divided by meters times 3600 seconds per hour. And we get minus 0 0.59 millimeters per hour. So if we have a container with milk that has got fat globules, that the fat globules will be rising at a velocity of 0 0.6 millimeters per hour. Uh, that sort of tells us that it's a very slow process, but the fat globules will be moving up to the uh, top layer. Now we will consider a case where we use centrifugal force. So on the next screen, we have the uh, data on the diameter of the fat globules, the density of the milk, the fluid, and the density of particles, that is the fat globules, and the viscosity of the milk serum, same as we had in the previous example except now in case of a centrifugal separator that we are going to use to uh, separate fat globule from milk, the radial position we are considering is an R of 0 0.2 meters, and the rotational speed of the centrifugal separator is n equal 5,000 revolutions per minute. Now again from a previous tutorial, the expression for terminal velocity in a centrifugal system is d square times rho p minus rho f times r times 2 pi n divided by 60 whole square 
divided by 18 times mu. So now if we go ahead and substitute the various quantities, we have 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 meter squared, 926 minus 1032 times 0 0.2 meters times 2 pi 5,000 per minute, that's the revolution per minute, divided by 60, and that is seconds per minute, and that's raised to power 2, and divided by 18 times 1.42 kilograms per meter second. Now, when we carry out this calculation, we get minus 9.1 into 10 raised to power minus 4 meter per second. Again, we can convert meters per second to millimeters per hour, uh, sort of a convenient unit to uh, be able to see how long does it take to separate fat from milk. We have minus 9.1 into 10 raised to power minus 4 meter per second times 1,000 millimeters per meter times 3,600 seconds per hour. And that gives us minus 3,274 millimeters per hour. So what we have here in these two examples for the uh, same uh, uh, data as far as the, uh, the diameter of the fat globule, the densities, the viscosity, that in case of just gravity separation, the terminal velocity is uh, about 0 0.6 millimeters per hour, whereas in a centrifugal separator that is uh, operating at uh, 5,000 revolutions per minute, that we have the uh, terminal velocity as 3,274 millimeters per hour. So in case of a centrifugal separator, the fat globule is going to move at a much higher velocity than in, in case of just simple uh, gravity separation. So I hope that gives you an understanding of the use of the expressions we developed in um, other tutorials on determining the uh, terminal velocity.